Hey guys, I just got back from the grocery store. It is Sunday, um, May 15th, and I just figured I would share what I got ooh, at the grocery store because I always like watching what people get at the grocery store and it, it just helps me get some ideas for what to eat for the week. So I already put a few things away, but I will show you what I put away. Um, so I got some strawberries, blackberries, and then back there some blueberries. I got a few gallons of fat-free milk. Um, I got some deli meat. I got some buffalo chicken breast for Alex to take to work. And then I got some maple honey um, turkey breast for me. Um, I got some of the Eglin's Best Cage-Free Brown Eggs. And... Let's see. I got some lactaid cottage cheese. It's lactose free. I don't know why I got this, but um, Alex's grandparents stayed with us last week and his grandma got this and I tried it and I really liked it. So I just got the same kind she got, but it's just cottage cheese for like breakfast to put some fruit and stuff in. I got um, these blue diamond bold salt and vinegar almonds to snack on throughout the week. I got this um, organic spinach and cheese chicken sausage. I'm gonna put this in the pasta that I make for dinner this week. I got some naan. I love naan and I'm making um, an Indian dish this week so I got that for the Indian dish. I got some broccoli um, also for dinner. I got a few lemons because I love water with lemon in it. Like that's really the only way I can drink water. I got a few potatoes to make some baked potatoes for a dinner this week. I got some celery to snack on, um, an avocado for a grilled chicken salad I'm making this week, um, cucumber for the grilled chicken salad, and then I got some peanut butter brownie mix to make next weekend because we love on Friday nights making a dessert to eat throughout the weekend. So this, this coming weekend we're going to do some brownies. I got some Special K Vanilla Almond Cereal. Last time I tried this, I don't think I was a big fan, but I could not decide what cereal to get. If you guys have any recommendations on like a healthy cereal to eat, um, but that also tastes good and not like cardboard, <laughs> uh, leave your comments below because I really need some, some good cereal. I got some cornbread croutons. I know these are not healthy for you, but the salad that I make is so healthy. It's got like grilled chicken and veggies. Um, and so I have to have something that tastes like a little bit unhealthy. <laughs> Something that tastes a little good. So yeah, I, I like putting croutons in my salad. Um, I got some wheat bread. That's for Alex to take to work. I got some bananas. Yes, these are very green because that's all the grocery store had. I hate when that happens. Um, I got some red peppers. That's for salad and for the um, Indian dinner that I'm going to make. And then I got some chicken breast. And in there is another pack of chicken breast and that's for dinner. I went to two stores too. I went to like our giant, which is like just our regular grocery store here in Maryland. And then I also went to Whole Foods and got a few things. Um, I got some almond milk. I get the um, 40 calories, the almond light. It's from Silk. Um, I just like this one. I don't like the completely unsweetened one because I feel like it needs to be a little bit sweetened, but not too much, so I like the 40 calorie one. And then I got some orange juice. Okay, Whole Foods, let's see what I got in here. I got some of the Michelle's granola. I love this granola, it is amazing. The one I usually get, they were sold out of, but it's the lemon pistachio I believe and they didn't have any so I was kind of bummed but I'm gonna try this one it's the ginger hemp so hopefully this one's good I love ginger so I'm assuming that I'll like it I got some of the Ezekiel English muffins um, I'm gonna eat these with where is it some almond butter right here um, for like a snack or for breakfast I thought um, like a toasted English muffin with some almond butter would be good and this is like they're really good, like flourless, sprouted, whole grain um, English muffins. They also make bread, Ezekiel bread, that I used to eat all the time, but I kind of got sick of it. Um, so I just, I'm going to try out the English muffins. I got these um, 
one bun multigrain thin sandwich buns that I'm gonna use for my lunch meat, my um, my turkey meat that I got for lunch. I got, oh, this is just fajita sauce. Um, and then I also got a enchilada sauce. I make Mexican food a lot. Alex and I love it, so I just got those for whenever I make that. I got this Annie's Organic Goddess Salad Dressing. I actually got this idea from um, Micah. If you watch Micah's channel, um, I, I love her. And she went to Whole Foods, I think recently, and did like a little grocery haul and she got this. And I'm always looking for new salad dressings because I get sick of salad dressings really easily. And so I thought I would try this out. So we'll see. I got some guacamole. I got the spicy one. Oh no, I got the medium one. Oh no, I got the spicy one. Spicy. There we go. Wow, I was going to be really sad for a second. I love spicy food. Anything super, super spicy, I love it. So I got some guacamole um, just to eat as a snack with maybe like some multigrain chips or something. And then I got three navel oranges. I've been obsessed with navel oranges lately. Um, just, I'm like in love with them. So I got three of those. And then that is it. So that is what I got from the grocery store. I'm trying to be semi-healthy, but I'm also kind of just eating whatever sounds good to me right now too. Good morning, guys. Um, little one is sleeping or taking a nap right now. And I am about to make some breakfast. So I'm gonna make some cottage cheese with some blueberries and some Michelle's granola that I showed you in my grocery haul, um, but this is the lemon pistachio because I just have a little bit left. And then I'll try the ginger hemp one probably tomorrow. I'm going to take some almond milk and I love this stuff. Sometimes I make hot coffee in the morning but sometimes I like iced coffee. I think I'm definitely more of an iced coffee drinker. Like I like it cold more than hot but you guys this stuff is so good. Um, it's the Starbucks iced coffee and they have different flavors. I get the caramel one. But they have the um, they have the unsweetened one, and then they have like the skinny ones, like skinny, like vanilla latte or whatever. But I just think the caramel one's really good. And that is breakfast. Okay. Oh, here's Lexi and Cam. Boyfriend, girlfriend, Cam, get your hands out of your face. <laughs> we can't see you. And she keeps pulling up her dress. <laughs> see, we're just showing everyone. We're just showing everyone oh, our outfit. You're hurting her face. There. There we go. Are you guys going to date when you get older? Say hello. She's staring straight at the camera. <laughs> huh? Oh and he's got gosh, the hiccups, of course. so cute. They're both <laughs> staring at the camera. Hello. Hello. Cam, what are you looking at? Cam? Huh? You're naked? Are you naked because you pooped? What do you guys think? Hmm? Hmm? What do you guys think? He's like, not. <laughs> So, um, my friend Stephanie came over and brought her daughter, who is two and a half weeks older than Cam, and we went on a long stroller walk around my neighborhood for a while, and the babies, you know, met and played together, and it was really, really cute. So now, I am making a very late lunch. I mean, it's already, it's almost seven o'clock, and I'm having lunch now, um, and I, I probably will still eat dinner in a little bit. What is going on with these hairs? Jeez. Ever since I got pregnant, I got like a lot of baby hairs like this, and they're just so random. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I made for lunch. Um, so, 
I made a little sandwich here. I put it on um, this thin multigrain bread, and then I have maple honey turkey Havarti cheese, and then I put some, um, what is it, guacamole? Guacamole, and this stuff is so good. It's, here it is, spicy sriracha sauce. It is so, so good. I got it from Balducci's. Um, I don't know if they have Balducci's where you guys are, but where I am they do, and it's so good. Then I just have a glass of ice water with lemon in it, and I'm going to eat some of these multigrain tortilla chips that I got from Trader Joe's a while ago, and some guacamole, and this is the spicy guacamole from Whole Foods. I usually make my own guacamole, but I didn't feel like it, um, so I just bought some. And then I have like these little baby tomatoes that I'm going to eat as a side. This is my current situation right now. Just feeding little Cam. Say hi, Cam. He's very content right now because he's getting some some good breast milk. But um, but yeah, it is like 7:45, and I've got to pump every three hours, and that's what I just did. I just finished pumping, and now I'm feeding him, and then I've got to go make dinner, and yeah, that is my plan right now. So I will bring you along when I make dinner too, so you can see how I make my delicious grilled chicken salad. It's really good. And I'm excited to use my new goddess dressing, the salad dressing I bought from Whole Foods that I showed you guys. Oh, and that is my breast pump right there. If you can see it. It is the, like, Symphony. It's by Medela, but it's the hospital-grade breast pump. Oh, look at my hair. Going crazy. Crazy hair. What are you doing? What are you doing, hon? This is a camera? Huh? What you looking at there, honey? Huh, baby boy? What you looking at? What you doing? You just sitting on mommy? You sitting on mommy staring at the light. And he's got the newborn rash on his face. Newborn rash is totally normal. Um, the nurses and the doctors told me about it. And he gets it like all over his body and it goes away and then it comes back. But I don't think it's supposed to last much longer, and it doesn't hurt him or itch or do anything. It's just a rash. Honey. There you are. Hi. I'm watching Lifetime. Always, always Lifetime. What you doing, hon? You just eat? Now you're just chilling? You know you gotta burp. You know you gotta burp, and you don't burp, you like to throw up. Oh, that was a big boop. We got that on camera. That was a huge noise, and I felt that rumble on my tummy. That was a big one, wasn't it? A big poo-poo? Yeah? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at this hair. Look at this hair. That was a big poo-poo. Hey there, cutie. Hey there, cutie. You like this camera? Yeah, you do, don't you? <laughs> he's like, he's staring at the camera. What is mommy playing with? What is this? Hmm? So, God, these hairs are crazy. Um, yeah, I gotta get up soon. Try to get him to take a nap so I can cook some dinner. Hey, mister. So, about to pour myself some wine. Some Chianti. And start. Cooking dinner.
is the salad. I have some, well, it's not finished yet, obviously, but I have cucumber, I have red pepper, and carrots. And then over here, I am just cooking up some chicken, and all I have on it, some Italian spice. I'll show you what spice it is. It's so good. It's the Olive Garden brand, and it's the garlic and herb Italian seasoning. So this is actually Alex's salad bowl. I'm about to add a bunch of lettuce and then top it off with the chicken and some croutons and dressing. And then this is um, just for what he's gonna take to lunch tomorrow, which is the same thing. By the way, here's all the milk that I have stored in the fridge. I've got two bottles up here, I've got three here, and then I've got three down there. And these bottles are good up to five days. And then I'll show you in the freezer all the frozen milk I have. So I have a whole pile here. I've got a whole nother pile here, and then I'm starting a new pile right here. Um, but yeah. I told you guys, I have a ton of frozen milk. So. Yeah, let's go check on the little baby. The little baby. What you doing? Are you letting mommy make dinner? Are you getting fussy? Oh, you're getting fussy. Mr. Fuss is coming out. I'm almost finished dinner. You want to wait till mommy's finished? <laughs> no. Cam doesn't want to wait. Cam, Cam wants mommy to burn the chicken. Right? Pay attention to me. Okay, baby. Okay. <laughs> so, the baby is napping right now. And I just ate some lunch. Um, I made black truffle mac and cheese. It was so good. So I'm going to have another bowl because it was that good. I want more. But let me show you the box. So it was Roland's truffle mac and cheese um, whole wheat. So good. I love anything truffle. Like I love mushrooms and truffle like, if I go to a restaurant and there's something on the menu that has truffle in it, I order it. I don't care what it is. If it's got truffle, I'm getting it because truffle's so good, you guys. This is what I made. This is just, like, the last bit of it, but it was really good mac and cheese, so I'm going to have another bowl. And yes, it does say that it is 6.11 at night. <laughs> because it is. I'm having my lunch at 6.11 at night. That's what happens when you have a baby. Here's my little nugget. Here he is. Hello. How's your nap going, little Cam? Stretch, 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 stretch. I love when he stretches. He's so cute. You stretching? Stretch it out, hon. Stretch it out. Yeah. Yeah. And he grunts just like me. I grunt all the time. <laughs> Ooh! So yeah, just about to have my second bowl of mac and cheese and I am watching Shots of Sunset. I haven't watched this in a while. So I'm kind of just catching up on the season, but um, yeah. I watched the first two seasons and I really liked it. I actually met MJ. Um, I think I met another one of the cast members, but I met MJ when I went to the Playboy Mansion, um, back in like 2012, um, which is like a whole nother time of my life slash story. <laughs> um, but I went to the Playboy Mansion for, um, a party for Playboy Golf. It was called Playboy Golf at the time. Now it's like Links and Laces or something, but at the time it was Playboy Golf and I won a competition. I got to bring some of my girlfriends with me and we got to spend five nights in LA and go to the Playboy Mansion for some parties and blah, blah, blah. It was, it was a lot of fun though. It was crazy times. So, um, and celebrities go to these parties and I met, I met MJ and she was film. she had filmed the first season. So I think the first season of Shaw's was over or it was 
currently on or something like that. Um, and let me just tell you guys, she's like the sweetest person ever. She was so sweet. I know in the show she's like bitchy or whatever and uh, people don't like her. But I'm telling you, she was she couldn't have been nicer. She was a very, very sweet girl. So anyway, that's my little story for right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this. I have lemon water right here. I'm trying to drink more water. And then I have to go pump after this because I'm pumping every three hours and it's probably been four hours so I really should finish this and go pump before I start getting clogged milk ducts again. Oh my god, so painful. Um, and then I'm going to try to see if I can jump in the shower if he's still asleep. I'm not sure. This is what happens. He is not patient at all. I'm trying to warm up the bottle and he's screaming. He wakes up screaming. Like he doesn't even give me five minutes. He doesn't give me a warning. Honey, it's okay. It's okay. I'm getting it. it. I'm getting it, honey. Oh, no. Oh. This little guy. Hey, sweetie. Passed out. He just, um, had a bunch of milk, and he always passes out right after. He's so cute. But I have my mother-in-law coming over soon. She's going to stay with him for a little bit while I just run up to the grocery store and get a few things that I need. Today is Alex's birthday. He is 34 years old. I cannot believe it. Like, I met him when he was 26 and I was 21. And now he's 34 and I'm 28. It's just so crazy. Um, and now we have a little baby. It's just, it's nuts. Um, but so, yeah, it's his birthday. And he's not big on birthdays, like, at all. So I usually don't get him a gift or anything just because he really doesn't want gifts. Um, I usually will just make him some dessert and we'll usually just order in or something and watch a movie. What we usually do. That's what he likes to do. So I think I'm going to go up to the grocery store and get something to make him. I might just make him like peanut butter brownies because he loves those. And then get like maybe a card. I kind of want to get a card from Cam so I might just do that and then I'll sign it. And maybe, like, get a pizza tonight, and I might rent a movie from Redbox. We love Redbox. If you guys have heard of it, it's, like, those little machines outside of grocery stores and stuff. And it's, like, it's, like, Blockbuster now. I mean, I miss Blockbuster. I loved Blockbuster. But, um, but yeah, it's just super cheap, and we always have coupon codes to get free DVDs. So we pretty much get free rentals all the time from it. Um, and you just have to return it the next day. So... That's that for now. Well, here's Alex's little carrot cake from Balducci's, and it's kind of messed up. I took it out of this box, and it had melted a little bit because I left it out. So it did say Alex in blue, and it had some carrots, but now it just looks like a bunch of goop. But this is his cake. It looks really good. And, yeah. Good morning, y'all. So... It, it well, actually, I guess, good afternoon because it's not morning anymore, even though I just woke up a little bit ago with this little guy. Um, it's like, it's literally 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We woke up at like 1. Okay, well, really, we, we woke up at like 10, 10.30, and I pumped, I fed him, I changed him, and then we went back to sleep around 11, 11.30 until 1. So... Um, for the past hour, I've been, you know, I heated up his milk, I fed him, and now I'm about to pump. I should have pumped at one. It's two now, so I really got to get to that. Um, and I made some breakfast for myself, so I had a, um, what did I have? A, one of those English muffins, the, um raisin cinnamon one cinnamon raisin and then I had some special K vanilla almond cereal with blueberries and a banana and that's what I have for breakfast so he's he's I mean after he eats he's always really tired so I just put him down for a minute but I am about to try to burp him again because he did not burp and when he doesn't burp he ends up like throwing up all over the place so I need to try to burp him again burp him again then I need to pump. And today's Saturday. It's raining outside. It's like a monsoon. It's crazy. Um, apparently all morning it's just been like absolutely insane outside. And it's like a little chilly. So I don't think we're leaving the house today. There's no reason to. It's too, it's too gross outside. And I don't want to bring him out in this. But 
Um, I do need to walk up to our mailbox and mail some, we have one at the end of the street, and mail some thank you cards and my announcements for him. So I'm probably just going to carry him up to the mailbox because I don't feel like getting the stroller all like, you know, trying to put that together and all that. Um, but anyway, so that's the plan for right now. Um, but yeah, we're just going to stay in today and we're going to hang out. I'm going to edit my video that I want to get up within the next day or so, um, on my three week postpartum update. And now it's, I mean, it's over four weeks now. I filmed it like a week ago, but I haven't been able to edit it yet. And maybe just like watch some Netflix and chill. Not that kind of Netflix and chill. I didn't even know that that was dirty. Like, I'm so old that I didn't know. I, I talked to my brother-in-law who is in college, and he, he told me that Netflix and chill was, like, like sexual. I had no idea. I literally thought Netflix and chill was watching movies and chilling on your couch. Like, that's what I, that's how I use it. I don't use it in a dirty way. Too old for that, so. Anyway. Um... Little man, look at him stretching. He's so cute. What are you doing, hun? You stretching? Oh, look at those lips. My little duck. He looks like a little duck. <laughs> stretching? <laughs> hey, you're on camera, hun. Yeah. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> His lips. Honey. Can I burp you? Can I burp you, honey? Oh, it could just eat you up. You're so cute. You're so cute. So, you guys, I just got these new shoes in the mail. I ordered them from Windsor. And they're just... I don't know. I just thought they were really cute. I liked, like, the stitching. Look, and I know, sorry, I'm out of breath. I just walked up to the mailbox with Cam. Um, but yeah, they were super cheap. I liked the stitching in the gray. But I know Adidas makes a pair that's similar that are really cute, but they're over $100. And these were only $22. So, I saw them on Instagram. Windsor had posted them. They also have them in black and white, but I liked the gray and white. Um, and they were $20 bucks plus shipping. So, I decided to get them because they were cheap, and I just thought they were cute. I mean, I'm not going to really, like use them as like sneakers like running shoes or anything um but just you know something that'll look cute with some yoga pants and um I have a really cute like suede gray baseball hat I got recently from free people so I think it would match nicely so hey guys good morning it is Sunday morning and I am just drinking some coffee and Cam is just chilling. I just changed him. He's just staring at the lights. Um, oh my god, I look so bad. Sorry. I'm watching some Kendra. And that is my morning so far. I haven't eaten anything. I fed Cam. Um, but I don't know what I want to eat. I don't feel like, like, making eggs or making breakfast. I really want to go out and get... Well, I would love Chick-fil-A breakfast, but it's Sunday. And they're closed. So, uh, I don't know. I really want to go out and get breakfast, but I don't really feel like getting, you know, everything together for Cam to come with me. Like, I'd love to just, like, run out myself and get it because it would be so much faster. But Alex had to go into work for a little while. So, and I don't feel like bringing Cam with me to go get breakfast. So, that's my dilemma, you guys. Oh my god, that crab cake looks so good on TV. I want crabs so bad. Like, Maryland blue crabs. Like, from the bay. Oh my god. I want crabs. It's like one of the best things about living in this area is the crabs. So, I'm going to pop in the hills. This is season one. I have the complete first season, and I have the complete second, second season, and I want to get the rest. I think there's like six seasons, or at least five, but I want to get the rest. Um, so, I was just looking at this, like, 
Look how young they look. Heidi doesn't even really look like that anymore. But it's crazy. Look, Jason is on the back of that one. Then we've got Whitney and I forget that dude's name up in the corner. What's his name? Is that Jordan? No. That's Jordan on the left. I don't remember the guy on the right's name. But just so crazy. There's Audrina. She's pregnant right now. I follow all of them on Instagram. I still love these chicks. I love the hills. I love Laguna Beach too, but I don't have the um, seasons of Laguna. Yeah, it's Sunday. It's rainy outside. So I figured I would make myself a grilled cheese. And I have the pan heating up right now. And um, grilled cheese, some ramen soup. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have any groceries at all. I really want to order something. Like, there's like nothing in here. Um, I want to order something, but we're going to order something tonight or go out and get something. So I figure for lunch, I'll just make a grilled cheese. So I'm watching the first season of The Hills right now. And guess who I see? First season of The Hills. And look who's on it. Just wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> Tom Sandoval from Vanderpump Rules. It's hilarious. This is the first season of The Hills, which was like what? 2005 or 2006 or something? I don't know. Wait. This is my Sunday. Watching The Hills. Baby is napping. I feel like he's always napping whenever I'm uh, vlogging. Amazing. Which is probably why I vlog when he's napping, because he's not like being fussy or anything, but yeah. I just thought that was funny. Okay. Cam! He likes it. <laughs> oh no. Cam, you're such a good dancer! <laughs> What's wrong, honey? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Little baby. So, I just want to jump on here real quick. I was just reading some more comments on my labor and delivery vlog video. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who wrote such sweet comments. Like, there are really, really sweet comments on there. And they just make me smile and they make me so happy. And I really appreciate it. Um, just all the love and, you know, I just, I really, really appreciate all the nice comments. And I read all of them and... Um, you know, there are, there are some, some mean comments as well, and I knew that was going to happen. I mean, it's a very, like, I don't know how to say this. I guess it is kind of like an intrusive video. Like, you see a lot. It's like, it's raw. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was really cool. I love watching birth vlogs, and I watched tons of them leading up to, um, myself giving birth, and... I knew I wanted to document this day. Even if I didn't put it on YouTube, I knew that I wanted to document all of it because I'm going to want to watch it later. I mean, it, it was my child being born. It was like the most important thing in my entire life happening. And I'm sure that one day, you know, Cam will want to see it too. So it was really just, you know, the choice of me putting it on YouTube. And I just decided why not? I mean... You know, just because a lot of people are going to go through it and they want to see, like, what to expect. And even though everyone's experience is different, some things may end up being the same. So it's good to be prepared. I didn't take any classes. I really just watched a lot of YouTube videos to try to, like, gain some knowledge. And I think it helped a lot, um, especially watching all of those labor and delivery vlogs. Like, I kind of really knew what to expect going in. Like, I knew about the, you know, the IV and, like, the epidural and, like, all this stuff and... I don't know, it helped me a lot, and I figure why not help other people? You're the cutest thing that I ever did see. You're the cutest thing that I ever did see. You're the cutest thing that I ever did see. 
What do you think? Are we twins? I think we're twinsies. What do you think, Cam? You're the cutest thing that I ever did see. What you looking at? You love mommy? Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, gotta get that now. Say bye to the camera. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.